Hello everyone. Welcome to the meetup, Sharing Experiences on Test Automation, hosted by Ministry of Testing Bergen. My name is Santil and I am from the company called IT Automation. In this video, I'm going to run a demo about two different things. First, integrate test automation with bug tracking and project management tool Jira. Second, set up a centralized test automation dashboard for your automated tests. Let's get started, guys. Let me go to the Jira instance. As you see from the screen, my Jira instance is up and running on my local machine. Let me log in. So now I'm logged into Jira and uh, I am landed on a default dashboard, automated test dashboard, where I don't have any results yet. So if you go to the test, and I have three tests, first test, verifying the first the first text on the page going into IT automation website and then uh, verify the welcome text second one is go to the IT automation website and then request a consultation it's a positive flow you enter email name and everything and then you click submit button and then you will um, receive a confirmation message in the negative flow if you go into the test case and then if you go to the test scripts I have written a test case in a BDD format where you will go into the automation, IT automation web page and you should verify the uh, text and you should click the contact menu and then you have to fill out uh, the username, I mean, e name and email and message and you need to check the different um, uh, negative flows like what happens if you leave all the fields empty and what happens if you enter a wrong email address in the email field. So these are the verifications. So, so totally here we have uh, three tests and if you go to the another test case he, here we have like um, the two scenarios so three to five and then here we have one scenario just go to the page and then verify the text. So totally six test cases so I'm going to execute these six test cases in Chrome and in Firefox. Okay, let me go to the dashboard page and then go into the Jenkins where you need to run the build to execute the test, execute all six tests in, in, in Chrome and in Firefox. So let's just trigger this build. We'll just trigger this build. So once the build has been triggered, you will see the um, uh, build number and then uh, if you click on the build number, you will be able to see the real-time log. So what, else, what is a console, console output? Let me just click the console output and then you will see the uh, test. You see the test is running now. And if you go to the dockerized container UI where you will be able to see the test in real time. You see the test is running and once it's finished, so it will close. And then next test will be launched automatically. So. You see the next set of tests has been triggered and then you can, yeah, this test is running really fast so it got disconnected very fast. You see now uh, the tests are running in Firefox. If you look at the bottom, you see the three tests are running in Firefox. All right, two more tests. Yeah, starting it and it's navigating to the web page and then do the actual verification and then it will get okay. yeah one more all right now the execution is finished if you go in here you will see the build uh, um, build is success but the um, overall uh, status is unstable. It's because there are some failures. So total tests run 11, failure 1. So one test case has failed. Let's just go and analyze what's, what happened. So as I said earlier, uh, we, we can analyze the result in the build, uh, build log. So the test case T1 is failed. And this method is passed, okay, given when I'm, the, when I'm on the home page, I should see the text reliable test or process automation partner. So you see the method binding for this uh, step. Uh, this is the method binding. 
and this is the uh, element, actual element um, extracted by export, and then the element has a value variable test and process. So here we have and, but it expects slash. So that's why it, it got failed. And the rest of the tests are okay. So TA3, two scenarios are successful, and TA, T4, three scenarios uh, are uh, successful. Let's go back to Jira and then refresh this dashboard. If I do it, you see? Now, the uh, the statistics got reflected in Jira automatically. So, so far we have executed like 12 tests has been executed and then 83 percentage has been passed and then 16.7 percentage has been failed. And then you see here the last execution status and it has been linked to the uh, test cycle. So if you click it, it would take you to the test cycle where you can see the uh, test cases, actual test cases, which has been executed in this cycle. And if you go to the tests menu, there you will see the uh, result automatically posted. So you will have the green for the uh, past test, and then you have a red uh, for the failure test. If you click the failure test, and go to the execution and you see two tests has been executed so this test executed in Chrome version 78 and you can see the screenshot so you click on the screenshot you will get the screenshot downloaded you can verify it and then you can uh, go back to the test again and then uh, you can uh, check the other one execution and then this one so this test has been executed in Firefox version 70. And you have the screenshot and also the stack trace has been copied. The actual stack trace has been copied into the, uh, into the test case. That's all about uh, Jira integration. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a test automation uh, dashboard uh, for your automated test. So as you see on the screen, uh, I have uh, uh, set it up a dashboard already um, for my project for IT Automation AS for a different uh, API test automation right, stuff. So here, if you click the dashboard, uh, you can have a different type of uh, graphs. So you can generate the uh, launch execution issues and statistics and overall statistics, how many tests passed and how many product failures, uh, how many system issues. So this is extremely useful for the test managers and for the uh, management people for, or even the stakeholders. Then you can share this dashboard with um, the people uh, around the organization. And this URL is exposed uh, in, the, in the internal internal network, so everyone will have an access if, if they need to be. Right, and then if you go to the tests, so let me go in there. And you, you will see the uh, uh, ex uh, launches. So launches is nothing but how many times you have executed the test. So I have executed tests many times. And then uh, if you go here, open 17, the execution number 17, and you open the test entry test, and in here, you will see the um, uh, screenshot, and then uh, you will see the, uh, what kind of bug is this, and then and you will see the attachments. So click on this, and you will have an attachment. So full with the full stack trace. So this would be really easy, and then uh, you will have a full access to the logs and reports. That's all for now. Thank you.